Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super pumped for today's video because I have a huge candle haul. Um, this is a Christmas candle haul from Kringle Candle. Um, I've got a ton of them, 13 to be exact, and I am just going through each of them today to give you guys my thoughts of them on cold, and then hopefully in November I'll be starting these up, and of course I'll be reviewing them for y'all when I burn them, but yeah, today's video is just to give you some initial thoughts on the cold scent. So I'm actually pre-filming this video on Thursday, Friday is going to be really busy for me tomorrow, so I was like, I'm just going to get this done now so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. But um, yeah, so I have 13 cents. I have divided these into three different categories, so I can go through each category. The first category is my tree scents. So these are going to be like your balsam, pine, tree scents. Then we have... Uh, gourmand bakery scents. So you guys know I love my gourmands and my bakeries. Those will be in that scent and then or in that category. And then the last quarter category, I can't speak. This is a bad start to the video. I can't speak. I'm gonna speak today, okay? I promise. The last one is gonna be like an oddball category. Um, spicy, fruity, citrusy. Just an oddball because I have a few that are not, you know, in that main category of pine or gourmand. But anyways, we have 13 candles to get through. So let's start off with it quickly. I've got three wicks, I've got soy Kringles, and I've got country paraffin. So we got a lot to do here, and it's in no specific order, just going through the categories. Starting off with balsam fir. This is, you know, the quintessential Christmas scent. It's balsam fir. This is, you know, that iconic scent. So the this is in the three wick for this one. It is balsam is the traditional tree of Christmas, and our goal was to was our, our goal was a true botanically accurate woodland fragrance evoking cold winter air and fresh cut bows. We believe we've really hit the mark. Okay, so this one has top notes of eucalyptus and fresh balsam, mid notes of green musk, base notes of pine, sweet, and wood. This is definitely that balsam scent. Um, I definitely pick up the pine, the fresh balsam, the wood. I also pick up that eucalyptus. That eucalyptus really gives it an earthiness and it's almost like sour. And I know that sounds weird, but I almost get like a sourness from that eucalyptus. It's very, very heavy on the green, the musk. It's really, really nice though. This is that quintessential. Christmas scent. So, um, you know, I don't think anyone would dislike a Christmas tree scent as a gift. As a gift. So this one would be really, really nice to get. And I definitely enjoy it. I've actually never tried the Three Wicks. They did just recently make a transition to make the Three Wicks 100% soy. So kind of like what the jars are here. So um, be on the lookout for that. That will be happening soon. All of the new ones for this year's Christmas are the 100% soy, but they're slowly transitioning the like uh, the older ones over to the 100% soy. This So this is not the new one yet, but it is the three wick. Okay, next up, I'm just going to put the ones that I've already talked about down there. Okay, next up, we have Snow-Capped Frasier. This is another one of the three wicks. All right, let me get my notes here. Sorry, I should have come better prepared. All right, so Snowcap Fraser. Also, the balsam fir comes in a paraffin jar if you would prefer that. They do that one in the country jar. I kind of like how they did that. I wish they did that with every candle. So, like the ones that I love in paraffin, I can get in soy. Ones I love in soy, I can get in paraffin because sometimes I feel both. Mainly, I like the soy ones, but balsam fir. Sorry, Snowcap Fraser. <laughs> There's a lot of tree scents. Like, Kringle has a good amount of tree scents. This one says, crisp, bright, and fresh airy notes accent the authentic botanical fir tree base. Hints of warm amber and moss further enrich the senses. This one has top notes of amber, fir balsam, mid notes of fresh green and moss, and then base notes of pine, spice, and wood. This one is 
I honestly think that this one's probably my favorite out of the pine ones that I got here. This one's really, really nice. I like those sweet pine scents. This one's really, really nice. It's got a hint of amber to it and some spice to it. And then, of course, like the woodiness, the freshness, green, <clears throat> little mossy. I really, really like this, though. This is a really nice pine balsam scent. I love the label and everything. Super, super nice on these. So, yeah, that is the snow-capped Fraser. Okay, now to the other ones. This is a soy 100% jar. This is their, like, original one. This is um, the scent Juniper and Laurel. This one was a favorite from last year. Um, so I was like, I'm going to have to pick it up this year since this is technically my first Christmas with Kringle. So this one has top notes of Laurel Leaves and Eucalyptus, mid notes of White Juniper, Jasmine, and Silver Spruce, and then base notes of Patchouli, Cedar, and Pine Cone. And I totally forgot to say the description. The description says, a wonderful bright scent. Juniper and laurel is cool and collected with eucalyptus, silver spruce, and white juniper, blended with the crisp, woody notes of cedar, pine cone, and patchouli. I really like this one as well. I'm going to tell you, this one reminds me a lot of the winter evergreen scent that is new for this year from Kringle. This one really reminds me of that. I really like it though. Um, this is super, super nice. I pick up that sweetness from this one. Um, it has a note of jasmine. I do get a little bit of floralness from this one. Um, I love how, how it has a wreath on the label. These labels are all beautiful. But yeah, I really like this one as well. Okay, Christmas Stroll. This is Philly Candleman's favorite Kringle, I think. I think he said that this was his favorite one for Christmas at least. So um, I had to pick it up. I always, you know, when I'm purchasing, I have to look at other fellow YouTubers and like people in the candle community that I watch, like Bonnie, Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie, Philly Candleman, Tina Marie. I watch all of them. So I always look into what they're loving for, you know, ideas of what I need to buy for myself. So this one is uh, Philly Candleman's fave. So Christmas Stroll inspired by fresh cut Christmas trees. Okay, so the notes on this one are balsam fir, pine, green moss, sweet, and then base notes of spice and winter air. The description for this one says inspired by, fret, by fresh cut Christmas trees and the hot mold cider served during Nantucket's Christmas stroll, our president father's Mike, our president's father Mike Kittredge helped design this bright holiday scent. So the late Mike Kittredge, who was the founder of Yankee Candle and the father of Mick Kittredge, who is the CEO of Kringle Candle, um, he helped design this one. So that's pretty cool. So this one. Um, I really like it. This is definitely a favorite for me out of these. I really, really like this one. It's a fresh Christmas wreath. It really smells like a wreath. It's really nice though. I love the freshness from this one. Super, super nice. This is definitely one that I will see myself repurchasing. Okay, last but not least for this category. This one's kind of almost in the oddball category, but it made it into the tree category because it's technically called frosty branches so it's technically a tree scent but i don't think it's a tree scent so frosty branches here this is in the country candle line this one is different it's not a tree scent in my opinion i'll get into that in a second i cannot wait to review this one i think this is going to be a fun one to review once i burn it but the description is images of a stealth and frozen orchard will come to mind as you experience these citrus notes of grapefruit and orange mingled with cedarwood and moss. The top notes are bergamot, green, grapefruit, and galbanum. Mid notes of floral and green, and then base notes of peach, cedarwood, orange, blossom, and moss. So this one is not a tree scent in my opinion. 
This is a really clean and fresh scent. It's not a balsam scent though. Like I really don't smell like Christmas tree. To me, this one really does smell like a men's bar of soap. Like Irish spring, fresh. That's really what I get. Like this smells so good. I get, I get a floralness from this one and I do get a green note from this one. Maybe a little bit of cedar wood. I really like it though. This is not a Christmas tree scent to me. This is more of a spring scent. I almost get like an aloe from this one. It kind of reminds me of the spiral aloe from the springtime, if y'all remember that one. I really like this one though. Um, This kind of smells like my dad. Um, So kind of nostalgic for me, but I really like that one. Okay. That's it for the tree ones. Now let's get into the foodie gourmand ones, starting with my favorite one over here, holiday cookies. I knew I would like this one from the start. I do have it in the three wick right here, but holiday cookies. So holiday cookies says, Share this festive recipe of rolled sugar, cutouts baked with buttery sweetness and frosted with creamy goodness. Pass the plate, please. The top notes are butter, vanilla, mid notes are gourmand, nuts, and vanilla. The base notes are creamy musk powder and vanilla. This is a vanilla scent if you can't tell by now. Oh, I love this so much. Y'all, this brings me happiness. This is so good. This is Kringle Candles version of the Yankee Candle Christmas cookies. That's what it smells like to me. It's so good. If this is strong, then this will be up there with my favorite Christmas or Kringle Candle candles. Because this is so nice. It is a sweet, buttery cookie. It's vanilla. It's gourmand, creamy, so good. Yum. You've got to try this one out. It's so good. It's delicious. That's all I got to say for that one. Next up, Christmas cookie dough. This is another one for holiday cookies. I was like, I don't know if these are going to smell the same or not. And I can actually say, I think they're two different scents. I was like, let's hope that they're not the same. Because... I wouldn't want two dupes of the same scent. But, so Christmas cookie dough, this one says, savor and enjoy the creamy butter, brown sugar, and vanilla blended in sweet harmony to make Christmas cookie dough a true holiday favorite. Top notes of vanilla and butter, mid notes of brown sugar, and then base notes of vanilla and cream. This is different. This to me smells like Vanilla extract, like vanilla syrup. It's so good. It's creamy. It's got the butter. It's got the vanilla. It's basic, but it's so yum. Like, honestly, and this isn't even just a Christmas scent. Like, neither of these are just Christmas scents. I could burn these year round because I burn vanilla year round. Um, and I could totally stock up on these and burn them year round. They're so good, both of them. I think I like the holiday cookies better because this is more of like a baked cookie where this one I do really get like that raw cookie dough from it, but I love them both. This is good. They're both good. Okay, so there's those two. Okay, now to two more country candles. Peppermint Twist. These are both peppermint scents and you guys know how I feel about peppermint. I love peppermint. It is so yum. Love, love, love peppermint. So peppermint twist. This one is those classic red and white swirled candies have always created a frosty mint sensation. Peppermint twist fills the air with that same fresh goodness. Top notes of eucalyptus, peppermint, and orange. Mid notes of peppermint, spearmint, wintergreen, and then base notes of vanilla and musk. Yum, 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 yum. This smells to me like the, I noticed that a lot of, I'm not going to say Kringle copies Yankee. I'm saying though, make, Mike, 
Yeah, Mike Kittredge started Yankee. Mick Kittredge is the son of Mike Kittredge. So when they sold it, I'm sure they took a lot of the blends and wanted to make their own versions of the scents that they did there. That's why I like. I think the holiday cookies is Christmas cookies. This one to me smells like Candy Cane Lane from Yankee. It's got that red paraffin wax. It's just so good. I love it. It's delicious. This makes me happy. So good. And then the other peppermint one is the Candy Cane Lane. This is another one where I was like hoping that <clears throat> it's not gonna be the same as the Peppermint Twist, and it's not. These are two different scents. So this one, Candy Cane Lane says, get in line to stroll down Candy Cane Lane and enjoy light I, as air meringues filled with cool frosted peppermint, vanilla sugar, and a dusting of sweet cocoa. This one has top notes of peppermint and cocoa, mid notes of vanilla, peppermint, and then base notes of sweet sugar crystals. So this one is peppermint, but it's got some marshmallow and some cocoa. It's so good. I love them both. The peppermint twist is like my type of peppermint. This is a really nice though. This smells like a peppermint hot chocolate. I feel like they could name this peppermint hot chocolate, name that one Candy Cane Lane, but I think they weren't trying to copy Yankee. But that one's actually Candy Cane Lane from Yankee, I think. And then this one is like a peppermint hot chocolate because I get the marshmallow, I get the chocolate, the cocoa, and then of course the peppermint. It's really nice though. So I really like both of those. If you just want like the classic peppermint candle, peppermint twist is where you want to go. They also had a peppermint cheesecake one, I thought. I thought that sounds interesting. I didn't pick that one up. I had to stop myself somewhere, but... Okay, now to the odd category. These are on the ground, so let me pull them up real quick. Okay, so these are like the oddball ones. I couldn't find whether to put them in the pine category or the gourmand category. So they're just oddballs. Let's start off with Christmas. So this is literally just called Christmas. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Christmas. Looks like this. It's got an ornament on or sorry, an ornament on the label there. So Christmas says a festively decorated tree by the fire, fragrant evergreen wreaths by the window and a winter chill in the air. This is the fragrance of the holiday that is awaited eagerly all year. The top notes are the top notes are cedarwood and musk, the mid notes are sandalwood, Siberian fir needles, and then the base notes are wood. This is different than I expected. Um, it's kind of odd. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not saying I don't like it, but I think it's odd. I get a lot of cedar wood from this one. I get a lot of sandalwood. It's very heavy on that wood. Like, it really smells super woodsy. I'm, I kind of wanted a little bit of spice to this one. Um, because I feel like Christmas. If you're gonna name a candle Christmas, then you really have to get it spot one. Because this is like the one that people are gonna buy. Because it says Christmas. I'm not saying this is bad, but I just think like it could just be named something else like Christmas tree or like Christmas wood because this really does smell like a woody scent to me. That's all I smell, wood. I'm not saying it's bad, but I just think it's, you know, a wood scent. Okay, deck the halls. This one I was on the fence about, but I still got it because it's got notes of cinnamon in there. And usually cinnamon, when it's used in a Christmas candle, it is um, very, very heavy on the cinnamon. And it's usually like that red hot cinnamon. So I still got it though. This one says, deck the halls this season with the warm and comforting aromas of cinnamon stick, metaled, metaled, yeah, that's how you say that, right? Metaled melded oh melded i cannot read today y'all cinnamon stick melded with creamy tonka bean tangy and spicy cloves sugared almonds and smooth amber okay this one's super super heavy on the cinnamon like whoa i get clove to this one too i get the cinnamon 
Did I even say the notes? I'm sorry. Top notes of cinnamon, clove, and tonka. Mid notes of spice, tonka, bean, and almond. And then base notes of musk, vanilla, sugar, and amber. I was like, I forgot to say the scent notes. <laughs> I get the cinnamon and clove. I get the tonka. I get the muskiness from this one. It's not my favorite. It's a little spicy for me personally, so I may gift it. But I really like the look of it. I'll probably burn it. You know me. Okay. Next up, Cozy Christmas. Okay. Cozy Christmas. I was so excited for this one because I love the word cozy because, like, that's what I want my lifestyle to be. I want to be cozy all the time. <laughs> But yeah, Cozy Christmas, and I love the label in this one. It's got a Christmas tree and a fireplace. So this one says Cozy Evergreens Forest of Pine Firs Spruce and Cedars make up the landscape of this rich, robust, spirited scent. The top notes are firewood, Nordic cedar, mid notes are nutmeg, orange and rind, and then the base notes are vanilla bean. <clears throat> okay, this one's different as well. I don't know if I love it. I'm trying to decide. <laughs> I get a berry to this one, actually. There's no berry note in here, but I pick up like a zesty note in here. Um, if you remember Holiday Zest from Yankee Candle last year, that kind of reminds me of this scent. It smells super zesty. I get a little bit of berry. I get some lemon in there. I do also, of course, get like the pine, spruce, fir, cedar, balsam. I get all of that. And I get a little bit of spiciness. And I definitely get the fiery to it, like the smokiness. It's nice. It's a little different. It's kind of complex. I'll have to review this one and do a whole review of it. I think I like it, but I don't know. I'm trying to decide. And then last but not least, this is another complicated one. These were all complicated, these last four. That's why I was like, these I cannot make up. These are like blends. This one is called Arum and Evergreen. Arum and Evergreen, I don't know how you say it. Let me know down below in the comments <clears throat> how you say it. But Arum and Evergreen, this one says, Festively blended with pink grapefruit and apple infused with pomegranate and cinnamon leaf. Autumn and evergreen is a noble scent with ribbons of vanilla snow and Siberian fur throughout. It's interesting. It says autumn and evergreen in the description box. But it says arum and evergreen on the candle. So I think they have a typo in the description box. I don't know though. Maybe they have it originally as autumn and evergreen and then forgot to change it. I don't know. This one has sparkling pink grapefruit, green apple peel, and Valencia orange. Mid notes of pomegranate juice, cinnamon leaf, and strawberry jam. And then base notes of sugars, crystals, vanilla snow, and Siberian fur. When I first smelled this one, I was like, this is such an odd scent. But then I went through all the scent notes and I really pick up every scent note here. I get the grapefruit. I get the apple, I get the orange, I get the pomegranate. I get some spiciness from that cinnamon leaf. I get the strawberry jam. It's super interesting. I get the sweet vanilla, pine and fir. Yeah, I really do get all of that. It's really nice though. I like this one. Um, I'm gonna have to burn it and see what it's like, but I think this is so different and interesting. I love the look of it as well. Arum or a room is a plant. I looked it up. I'm not really sure though. So yeah, but I really like this one. And guys, that is all 13. We just did all of that. That was a lot of candles to go through, but thank you so much for watching with me. That was a haul from the anniversary sale that they just had where it was like $12 off select candles. So that was my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. So you can use my code Connor Loves Candles to get 15% off of your order. I'm going to put that down below in the description box if you are interested in that. Um, and it is a, an affiliate code, so I will get a little bit of money from that. 
that a lot, but if you don't feel comfortable, of course, do not use it. But that will help you as you are doing your holiday shopping this season. So I'm not going to individually link down all 13 of them below because that will be a lot. But I am just going to link down below the Kringle Candle website and then use the search bar. Search bar. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Use the search bar to navigate and find the candles. But thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to help support. And I'll be back tomorrow with the Weekend Fragrance Roundup. Bye.